south of Santa Rosalia, Mexico on the Baja. We are back on the Sea of Cortez side after spending a few days on the Pacific side at Guero Negro. Uh, we came down and stayed at a place called San Lucas Cove. It was a little RV park uh, right on a bay. Uh, beautiful views, incredible sunrises. Um, we really needed to be somewhere where we had cell phone service for some work type things the last couple days, so we picked this spot. I also really wanted to see Santa Rosalia. And unfortunately, there aren't any RV parks right in town. This was the closest one we could get. So this morning, Ben and I are gonna head in and check out the town. Uh, a little update on everybody else. Joe and Sonia uh, stayed over in Guero Negro. They wanted to be able to go out uh, with the baby whales and um, hopefully we'll catch up with them again. I have had a really good time traveling with them so far. And then Mark and Janelle went into town yesterday. So they're gonna hit the road and head a little further south and check out a place we might get to stay tonight. The first place to stop in Santa Rosalia is the church behind me. While it doesn't have the grand architecture we're used to seeing from Europe, it has a really special story and I think that's what makes it unique. This church was actually designed by Gustav Eiffel who designed the Eiffel Tower and was erected at the same World's Fair as the Eiffel Tower back in the 1800s. After that fair, the mining company from here in Santa Rosalia purchased it, deconstructed it, put it on a ship, took it around Cape Horn and resurrected it here on, in Santa Rosalia. This would be the second stop you have to make in Santa Rosalia. It is a world's famous bakery. I honestly had no idea what to try in there, so I just got a few things to sample and we'll see how it tastes. So the first thing we got to try was called a baguette relleno. So it has meat and cream cheese and peppers, and it's pretty spicy. Kind of a unique take on a French bread. One unique thing that you will notice about Santa Rosalia is that it has a lot of wooden buildings, which is really unusual in Mexico. And it turns out that this wood was all imported from the Pacific Northwest in the 1800s, back when the mine was really going strong. So we just got some fuel and across the street from the gas station is the old processing plant of some kind from the days of the original copper. Is it copper? That's yeah, right, I think right? That, it's a copper mine back there. Yeah, copper mine. Resembles Kennecott. That's what I was gonna say. This really reminds us of Kennecott. Um, and you can really feel the presence of the influence in town that uh, on the architecture and the buildings and the feel of the place. Right here is one of the buildings where you catch the ferry across to mainland Mexico. The other location where you can do this is out of La Paz. I think for now we're done in Santa Rosalia and we're gonna head south, meet back up with Mark and Janelle and see if we can find a nice place to stay tonight. We have made it to Mulahe and they have a beautiful welcome sign. And yeah. This is cool. After about 9,000 wrong turns, we have finally found the right road. And it is definitely something you don't want to come down in your regular motorhome. You, you want some ground clearance and uh, it's a challenge, but I think we finally are about to make it because we see Mark and Janelle standing at the top of the hill waiting for us. Not needing four wheel drive yet, but definitely appreciating the high clearance. Oh, something is stinging or biting me here. Oh God. Woo, finally. Yay. Okay. Okay, can you please help me for a second? Is there, did something fall into the truck from outside or? I don't know, can, Maybe, um, just keys. Like, it was, it felt like something scratched or stung me. 
on my back hip. Do you see anything? No. Ah. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Why don't you show me how it If you heard me yelping in pain as we went up the hill, this fell into the truck and was poking me in the back. That thing is gnarly. I think it's safe to say this campsite is pretty hard to beat. We're parked all the way out on the edge of this cliff. Nice ocean breezes. You can hear the waves. Uh, it is gorgeous tonight. So um, I think you might get to see a little bit of the red tide from Ben's drone footage. We noticed it when we came in. So it's kind of interesting to see. And I think we're going to call it a day. So. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to keep riding along with us down the Baja. And we'll see you tomorrow.